Hey guys, so some of you know last year I got this Wicked Pentax 6-7 and I did a few photo shoots with it, made a couple videos and then it just kind of disappeared. Um, the reason for that was I was getting some light leaks in my photos and that was a problem for me. Um, so I did some investigating to talk to some friends of mine and a buddy of mine on Instagram, um, at Glass and Film, shout out to you Dimitri, thanks. Uh, we've kind of decided that it was probably, most likely, this viewfinder, uh, this top bit, it comes off, right? But this is a little loose and it shouldn't be like that. So when I was shooting photos, I would, like, I, would do, I was doing the portraits like that, there, this would tip over a bit and that's where the light leak was coming from. Well, at least I hope. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sort that out so I can get back on the Pentax 6-7 scene. Um, what I got here is some kind of like foam for windows, I believe. Uh, I just sliced it in half and cut up the things that will fit this. And uh, so we're gonna stick it on and seal that up and hopefully we'd be good to go. All right, let's do it. All right, here we go, let's do this. So first things we gotta do is obviously take off this binder. Here's the old seals. I've cleaned them off pretty good, so I'm confident that these new ones are gonna stick on there. And here, I'll show you the camera too, actually. I've also cleaned up on the inside there. So you can see it's pretty clean. All right, now, let's get down to business here. All right, can you guys see? Here, I'll zoom in a bit, actually. That way you guys can see a little bit better. Let's see, how's that? I'm gonna go this way, pop that right there. Okay, here we go. This is it. Yes, you all right? Sorry if you can't. Okay, I think that's pretty good right there. Stick that down and then just go the rest of the way. Whoa, look at that, way too big. I must be pulling it or something. That's crazy. That didn't make any sense. Oh, I was pulling it. I was totally pulling it because I measured it out perfect and now all of a sudden it's too long. It's because I was pulling on it. All right, that one's down. That didn't go as smoothly as I would have liked. I admit that, but hey, it's on there. You can kind of see it, right? All right, let's get on with it. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to push it in and then I'll kind of force that little bit down so we get a good seal. This one might be long too. Yeah, I'm just going to chop this one though. Pull it up a bit and then just chop this. Not much, just a tiny bit. See, the thing you gotta do when you're putting this down is this part here wants to be level with this. So it's not getting down in the corner. So if you gotta do this, just be mindful of that, that for some reason, that's what it wants to do. Well, yeah, dude, that corner's actually looking pretty good. Here, let me see if I can show you guys again. See that corner right here? Looks pretty good. All right, we're just gonna keep rolling here. Let me just push this down a bit though. I guess I'll get pushed down when I stick it on the camera, but still. All right, here we go. Just gotta slice this, bot this bottom bit a little bit. So let me do that real quick. Okay, hopefully that did it. Yeah, I think that's probably pretty good. Again, I'm gonna try to do it a little bit long on this side and just push it, push it in. Like I did that other one. Sorry if the audio is not so good on this. I'm kind of talking and whispering like you guys are sitting here with me. So hopefully you can hear me okay. If you can't, I apologize. This one's the weakest one. I'm not doing a very good job on this one. You start again. Woo! 
Ooh, man, this one was giving me a hard time. It's looking good, though. I'm gonna be back, back on the Pentax 6-7 scene in no time. All right, here we go. <sighs> Last one. You know what, I'm gonna start on this side because this edge is pretty good. And that one is not, so I might have to adjust that, this edge. But this one's far too long. Yeah, this is the weakest edge, you could see it. But all the other corners are looking really solid. Let me see if I can do anything about this one. I don't think I can lift it back up. I'm gonna try though. Yeah, I can, so sweet. And now I know that I can pull it a bit to make it longer, right? So I'm gonna do just that. Yeah, that's better. Nice. Glad I did that. All right. I think we are good. I'm just gonna push this baby down. Yeah, that edge looks good. All the edges look good. All right, I think we're good, guys. All right, there we go, check it out. Look at these beauty seals. Looking pretty good. Nice, all right, I'm stoked right now. This looks awesome. I'm just gonna push these down a bit more and then we'll put it on the camera. Looks good. Really good. Get that out of here. Blow this baby up. All right, now let's get the old Pentax 6-7. All right, so I'm just gonna grab the camera. I'm gonna zoom back out here. Moment of truth. Still got a piece of dust here. Get out of here. Stinky dust. Anyways, okay, I think we're good. Here we go. Ah, finally, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. My friend said it would be a little tight, but not to worry. I don't wanna push too hard because this is a glass desk and all of a sudden it's smash. That sucked. You know what, guys? I don't wanna push too hard on this desk, so I'm just gonna move it. All right, give me one second. It's gonna take the whole thing. And then we're just gonna do it on the floor. You guys aren't gonna be able to see as good. I'm gonna zoom in as far as I can. All right, ready? Click. Click. Woo! Ha <laughs> oh, yes. All right. We are back in action. I can't tell you guys how excited I am right now to get shooting with this camera again. This is gonna be awesome. All right, so that's a wrap on the video, guys. I'm back with the Pentax 6-7. I can't tell you how stoked I am. I cannot wait to shoot with this. I got some, uh, I got some Kodak Ektar 100 sitting in the fridge along with some Fuji uh, Pro 400H, I think. So. I think I'm gonna have to crack out that uh, that Kodak and go with that for the next shoot here. I might just do it here in the studio, but uh, we'll see. Maybe a mix of out and in. Anyways, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.